you want to get a bit more whip in your golf swing? Make sure that you check this video out. It's so simple. Right, so introducing a bit of whip to your swing is going to increase distance, and that's a good thing. Doesn't matter what club you're hitting, whether you're hitting irons, wedges, whatever, driver, you're going to increase the distance that you get because you're going to increase club speed. And if speed equals distance, assuming that you hit it well, that's going to get the ball going further, that's going to make the game a lot easier. So these are the sort of videos I'm doing at the moment, these are simple things. Some of it's going to be things that you can do from home through the winter that's going to improve your game, something that you can transfer to the golf course come springtime and start getting those handicaps a bit lower. Right, so whip, what is it? So what we want to get the feeling of is really getting that club head to travel through the hitting area of the ball as quick as possible. Right, I know that sounds blindingly obvious, but a lot of people struggle to do this. So there could be loads of different reasons and then they're not sure how to correct it and how to hit it better and how to gain that speed. So this is a simple process that you can do. Right. So this is something that I like to get my clients to do when they're working on this. So first of all, set yourself up. So if you're, yeah, set yourself up into a normal sort of golf stance position. So bring the ball in and just in here. Now what you want to feel is that you're getting nice and wide at this point if you swing. You do not want to be in there tight and close to your body. If you get the club in close tight to your body it's going to be really really difficult to introduce the whip action to the swing and really increase the speed. So the more that you can get the club head to travel distance and in the in the swing the more potential speed that you can deliver the uh, club to the ball at. So what we want to feel is that we're delivering it nice and wide here. So trying to get the arms out and away from the body, making sure that we get to the top of the backswing nice and wide. Right, a good tip to do that. So a lot of people are going to struggle with flexibility and things, and that's probably the major issue with this. So what I can get clients to do is to stand there and just feel that, you know, a, a simple stretching exercise. Now this is something that you can do from home. So I'll show you. Right, so from here, this position here, so facing the wall, set up in your golf posture, don't need a golf club. Put your hands together so that, that you know, clap your hands together here and stand there and swing. So turn, rotate, and try and get to this position, all right, so that the hands are touching the wall. Now, first instance is that you're not gonna get it as far as you want. So keep your eyes on the, where the ball would be, stand there, swing, get to this position. Now, if you think that that needs to be longer, which in that instance it does, then look at your hands and think, right, I'm gonna stretch them up. Try and get that, that left arm really sort of stretching up a little bit so that you can feel it. Stand there, watch, and then do a few swings where you watch your hands. So stand there and think, right, okay, that's better. Trying to get up there, trying to get the hands a little bit higher, really trying to feel the stretch. And then, eyes down at the ball, feel the same thing, so that then you're getting the stretch. That's the exercise that you can do from home that's gonna improve your swing. So it's like they're stretching the body out, getting those arms, getting the back muscles moving a little bit more so that you can feel a little bit more width. From that wider position in the downswing, so this is the next step, so that's step one, is to stand there, work on the backswing, trying to get nice and wide and stretched out. Into the downswing, we wanna get a little bit narrower. So the feeling is then to go right in there. So as you come down, you're gonna drop the hands down and reconnect the right elbow into your side. So trying to get to this position here where your hands become more or less level with your, your right leg. So to stand there, swing wide into a narrow position there. That's the position. And then it's kind of hold that angle as you come in, that feeling, right. And then the third step, and this is one of my favorite drills, whether you're doing this or anything else, is to really get that left hand working a lot more through the swing. So that, you know, we go wide to narrow, and then from there, some one-handed swings. So this is a good drill to do. Again, you can do this at home, but just some simple one-handed swings. So to start from there, and then really try and feel that, from that shortened position here, that you're introducing speed and getting that club to come through as quick as possible and really allowing that left wrist to rotate and get into that position on the way through. And then put all of those elements together and start hitting a ball. So we're just thinking, right, 
should look something like this. A swing wire to narrow left wrist. And that's the speed, that's the whip. And as soon as you start to hear the club coming through the air, you'll know when you're doing it slower and you'll know when you're doing it quicker. Put the elements together and then just hit the ball. Don't focus too much on direction when you're doing this. Just get the feeling of generating a little bit more speed. But if you like that video, you want to know about the Chinese fighting stick drill that you can use for your golf game. Check that one out.